Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Olga Breeze and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Clear, beautiful, and warm tonight, but things will be changing as that front swings through tomorrow. Right now, a clear view out at Gunnersville. Same thing as we move on in toward Decatur, but check out these temperatures finally down into the 70s. Upper 70s for Huntsville and Muscle Shoals, middle 70s for the rest of us, and a little bit on the muggy side. Dew points are still high. We have a lot of moisture in the air, so that mugginess will stick around until the front swings through tomorrow, but by midday tomorrow, you will notice the difference. Still warm, but the winds will eventually shift. For the day, though, we had headed to 97 degrees, not quite that 100 degree uh, record temperature, but we did see quite a bit of heat this afternoon. No rain on our precipitation numbers. For the most part, the radar has been quiet. A little pop earlier today up toward Lawrenceburg, but for the most part, the Way 31's early warning radar network is dry. We'll see a quiet night tonight. We'll warm things up tomorrow. We're going back to those hot temperatures near 90 degrees, and then behind that front, we're going to get a taste of autumn-like temperature. For the overnight, it should be calm. By the time you wake up in the morning, we'll be sitting right around those upper 60s, near 70 degrees. Uh, we'll bottom out right about 5.30, 6 a.m. Then, as we move on through the day tomorrow, we're going to dial up this heat again. The winds overnight, mostly out of the west, but by tomorrow midday, those winds will become northwest. We'll still have a lot of sunshine, but we'll also get the opportunity for maybe a spritz or a sprinkle in the afternoon. Noon. Our rain chance by the hour forecast shows that after 12 o'clock and until about 5, there's only a slight chance. 10% is a pretty low probability, but some of us could see a little bit of rain ahead of that front. Future radar can time it out for you. Morning commute looks great and sunny. Here come the clouds about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, but notice most of the viewing region is completely dry tomorrow. Just that slight stray shower chance at 10%. Then as we move into Friday, we finally have that wind shift. We're seeing sunshine shine on Friday morning and temperatures are going to be cooler behind the front. We should see a high right around 80 degrees. For most of us, though, it's going to be a warm up this weekend. We're going to dial back up that heat. We'll keep it dry early on Saturday morning. A mix of sun and clouds by the afternoon, but I think the rain holds off until Sunday, Sunday midday and afternoon, the opportunity for some rain. So the next three days really going to have a lot of variety. We're still in that summer mode for Thursday. We officially enter the um, the fall season at 8.03 on Thursday night, and we are going to have the temperatures to match. Behind that front, we're down in the 50s for overnight lows early on Friday morning. We'll hit the upper 70s for most of our suburbs Friday. I think the city center makes it to 80, no problem. But by Saturday and Sunday, we're turning back into those middle range 80s. I do think we have the opportunity for some showers on Sunday. Pretty healthy chance at 40%. But by the time we move into next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're settling into that fall-like pattern with lows in the 50s, highs just approaching 80 degrees. It'll be delightful.